What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a Gigapan from the Perseverance rover. Now, this Gigapan was put together by a good friend, Neville Thompson. Thank you again, Neville, for your work. We do appreciate you. Now, I'm going to show you their finished product, and I always call it the finished product. Now, before I was ready to make this video, I looked at the really good Gigapan, meaning crystal clear, and found some really good imperfections, and I think you guys are going to agree it's complete trash. So just because it looks better doesn't mean that it is. Let's just get right into it, because what I want to do is I want to show you that, and then we're going to get into Photoshop, and we're going to look at some of the raw parts of this photo. It's weird. I'll, I'll explain, but let's just get right into it, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here it is right here. It's the Perseverance, and you can see it's from Sol 466 to 471. And again, thank you, Neville Thompson, for your work. Now, this is a decent-sized pan. Now, if you go down here a little bit, you can see in the details, it's a little over 10 and a half gigapixels, right? And, of course, it was added on June 26th, 2022. Now, you can click on this right here to flick a download. This, there's a couple of them. It's raw images, which is basically just the photos that he had stitched together. When you click on the Flickr download, this is what you get. Now, what I did was I went over here at the top of the page, and it says download, and it's the extra large 6K size of this photo. Now, when I downloaded it, it was not the same quality. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is kind of interesting. Now, I told you I was going to show you the imperfections in this so-called really pristine photo. Let me do this. Let me show you the full screen. Now, it looks pretty decent. You can just zoom into anything down here. Pretty decent, right? Pretty decent quality. I'd say they're rocks, pretty much. Now, as we get closer and closer to this butte back here, this is when it looks all hazy. Notice how it looks real, real hazy here and here. Now, if you look at these white lines, you can see them very faintly. They're right here. Now, I believe this is the stitching that was done by Neville. And, of course, you're going to see that a little bit here and there in these photos. I don't have a problem with that. You know, it, it just comes with the territory. You can see, like, right here, one right here, right? Now, if we get into this, notice how it's yellowish here or goldish, meaning brighter. And then this area over here, pretty much bright, whited out, looks like decent quality. But are these really decent quality? Like I said, I can zoom in right here. Looks pretty darn good. I say it's a complete bunch of trash. Let me explain. We're going to go over to this area here. And I'm going to zoom right into this. This is pretty interesting. Watch this. I'm going to put this in the middle of the photo. Folks, check this out. There's a very fine line. I'm going to put it right here. Look at this right here. I don't believe this was done by Neville because most of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, what you have is it's more of a block, a square. And these photos are stitched together because keep in mind they're from NASA. NASA has basically square, well, pretty much square photos. You don't see it like, like a weird kind of shaped photo. It's usually square. Right? And then he'll stitch them together. And what I'm seeing is this line right here. Look at this. I don't know, folks. Uh, it's kind of weird. Now, is it is a very slight possibility it was done by Neville. I've never seen him do this. You can see where this is like this white line where they just overlay different parts of this photo onto each other. This is why I say these pristine photos, they usually are not the real deal, right? Even though this looks pretty darn good, I say it's still a censored, put-together photo from our friends over at NASA JPL, as usual, right? Okay. Now, when I did this download here at the top of this page again, the Extra Lodge 6K, this is what I got. Let's go to Photoshop. That looks pretty good, right? Pretty pristine. I'd say it looks good. Well, let's zoom into the same area. Well, wait a minute. Why does it look all like low resi and looks kind of like trash? What's the deal here? And I don't have a problem with that. I'll tell you why. You can see instantly, just zoom into this so-called Butte Hill, what, call it what you will. Why are we seeing areas like this? When I say it's got detail, it's still censored no matter what. And then we have all of this blurring around it, completely censored out detail. Why? What's the deal here? Let me show you something else that's interesting. Let's go way over here to the right, to these bunch of rocks. Okay, now we can zoom in. 
What is the deal here? Where is the detail in this photo? Over here, slide to the left. Check this out. Look at the blurring, okay? You can see areas of decent detail and then not so much right here. Now let me do the full enhancement and you'll see this much better. Check this out. What is going on here? You can see something is under this blur. You can see that. Okay. Now let's slide back over to the right. Folks, come on. Look at the censoring. What is going on here? You can see the areas that have detail. And by the way, these are not rocks. I don't believe they're rocks at all. But they wanted to really, really censor out something here. And you can see that with ease. Look at this. And there's a regular photo. I can still see that. Look at that. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Get rid of the false color, bring the stuff down, and this is where it becomes more evident. If I was to do this now and back out of the photo, you can see, oh, it doesn't look that bad, but now you can't unsee it. It's right there. These weird looking rocks. Anyway, it's not the same quality as the other one. And that's fine too, because sometimes that's what I want to see. I want to see the imperfections. I want to see the garbage that's in these photos. Now, let me show you a few areas. I mentioned this area earlier right here. Folks, look at the shapes that's in there, okay? Right here, along this hill or butte. Something right here, we can zoom into that, okay? There's something right here that's running along the edge of this so-called butte. And I don't believe it's a butte, folks. I think it's a disguised structure. And again, we can see the intentional blurring. Okay, now let me backtrack a little bit. I wanna show you something briefly. This is supposed to be where the Perseverance was traversing. Let me show you. Here's the wheel marks from the Perseverance rover. It goes down. It's supposed to be in this valley. Now, if we were to zoom in right here, you can see the wheel marks, right? Follow it along. See them right here. Follow along. They seem to kind of get lost right there. Then if you go over to here, you can see another set, okay? I find that pretty interesting. Here's what I also find interesting. You can see the tracks there. This, on the other hand, looks like a pathway. Check it out. It goes from right, kind of starts right around here, keeps going, right? Now, keep in mind, these are the wheel marks right there. Check this out. It doesn't look like the wheel marks like you see here. It looks like some kind of pathway going all the way across. Again, you can see it looks like a pathway more than anything. Where did the wheel marks go? Again, we've seen this here, and we can see this has been put there in layers. You can see that right there, okay? And you can see the double, supposed to be rock right there, yeah. Okay, if this is a large area down here, then something's in this area that's really brighted out and they've really manipulated this and censored it. Now, let me go into the full enhancement and show you what I got. It's gonna be darker, and then we're gonna really bring this out. But before we do that, let me just show you the yellow plate so I can show you this a little bit better as far as the censoring, okay? So let's jump into that. Folks, what's going on here right now? Look at this. Notice the blurring. It's so evident, it's sad. Check that out. It just doesn't make sense. That's how you know, folks. They're censoring these photos, hoping that the average person's a complete idiot and is not going to notice this stuff. But there it is right there, right? All right. So let's go into the full enhancement right here, okay? Now you can see the areas that are manipulated. There's something underneath this whole area right near this mountain, okay? I don't know what to make of it, but you can see different shapes in here. And you can see the blurring that they intentionally put down. Now check this out, this area alone. What is going on right there? What is that? See that? We'll zoom in a little bit here. Go to the right of this and check this out, folks. What is going on on the side of this hillside right here? What is that? Check that piece out. This bottom piece right here. What are we looking at here? Right? There's other things on the ground here. Not sure what to make of that. There's something right here, and it's kind of shaped like this here. See it? 
See that right there? Okay. Slide over to the right-hand side. And this is that area I was telling you about. It's not just a blank area, folks. There's something to this. There's some substance. Notice we can see like a pretty decent, inside this square, there's a little bit of decent detail. We have this long straight piece going through here. Now, right here, you can see it's pretty clear. And then all of a sudden, behind this area right here, it's blurred. So it's behind the blur. Another clear area right here. Pretty darn good. Check that out. And then all of a sudden, it gets blurry again, like I said, to the left of that. But right here is pretty clear. What's going on? I'm going to back out of this a little bit. That. Again, the side of this hill. But look at the very top of this hill, folks. Check this out. Check that out. Something's in here. You can see, like, details to this thing. I'm not sure what to make of that. But check that out. That, to me, looks intelligently made. No doubt in my mind, just like this area right here, again with these. To me, that does not look natural. And I see a whole bunch of shapes right here, folks. Now, all these shapes and what look like maybe structures or something else doesn't look like it'd be that large, right? I don't know. It's hard to tell what we're looking at here, folks. From there down, it's blurry. They literally went to town in this photo, folks. You can see that. There's much more in here, folks, than meets the eye. I mean, you can just see that. What I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to give you both this photo, so you can zoom into it. And again, you don't see anything really bad with the photo. You said, well, it looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty clear. Like I said, until you get up on these... Uh, these areas where you can clearly see there's a layering and stitching of their own that they're doing here. Either CGI or something along them lines. Look at that. Look at that nice clean line that they're doing to these photos. It doesn't make sense. That's pretty much the good sized part of the pan that I had taken. If you want to pause it right here, have a look at it with your magnifiers. We can bring this up just a hair bit more. Right there. You can see in the very far left, right to the left edge, to the right. Have a look at it. Pause it right here. And there you go, folks. Folks, as usual, we don't even have to talk about them centering. We know that they're centering these photos. Like I said, even the very clean photo, you can see imperfections. You can just see things that have been put together and uh, it's just not very good either. Artifacts are one thing. But when you see the centering going on, even in the very pristine photos... Clearly, these are not the real deal either. So I'd rather have the low-res photos because you can see more imperfections and you can see what they're really trying to cover up. And by looking at the raw parts of the photo, you can really see it. It does stand out. Folks, as always, let me know what you think. Drop your comments down below. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, there's much more to come. Stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. It was appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.